Hey guys, let's talk a little about something a little bit different. Let's talk about traveling security. Uh, you know I just came back from a long trip to, uh, to Africa and one of the guys on my team ended up carrying this suitcase and he lost a lot of stuff out of it. In fact, he lost uh, the entire suit bag. But anyway, how did that happen? Let's take a look at this. We all know that these TSA locks well, they're easy to pick, they're, they're, they're pieces of garbage, but there's actually a faster way. It's pretty common in Africa, and they're, I think they all, uh, the, guy, the baggage handlers know this technique. What they do, they don't even mess with, you can put a, a trial ving on there, no, and it will make a bit of difference. All they're going to do, they're going to take everything, it, you think it secures it, but they're going to move everything off to the side, like that. They're going to take a ballpoint pen, and they're simply going to put it on the seam and they're going to basically disconnect the zipper. And once they've done that, they can undo the entire suitcase and bam, you're open. You can reach in there and pull out the hand grenades or whatever you happen to have in it. And then when they're finished ripping you off, so they steal your hand grenade, close the suitcase, and then they grab the original zipper, if I can get it to cooperate, and they reseal your suitcase. And then they put the lock back exactly where it was, and again, it's secure. So they've been in, and they've been out, and they've stolen all your valuables. So, how do you protect yourself? Well, you don't use one of these suitcases, first of all. Instead, you might opt for something like this. This is a small version. I've got bigger ones. But these do have locking hasps, and you can put basically anything you want on there. You can put a tri on it if you want to. In fact, I happen to have one right there. You can put any lock you want on these, on these suitcases and secure them. And a lot of guys think, well, you're not allowed to uh, take these through the airport. You have to use TSA locks. And you know what? That's absolutely not true. You can put any lock you want on there, and when you check your bag, you simply wait until they run it through the machine, and then if they want to open it, you provide them with the key, and if they don't want to open it, they'll wave you to go ahead and they'll leave the high security locks on your hard-sided suitcase, and nobody, not even in Africa, will be able to break into this thing and steal your valuables. So, fellas, there you go. Uh, how to travel safely, not only in the United States or in Europe, but basically all over the world. So anyway, thanks for your time. Everybody stay safe and uh, stay legal.